Hello everybody and welcome to a Yellow Cab edition of Tiny Little Games. The show review free to play mobile games because I can't afford real play games because I'd rather walk with blistered feet than spend money on a taxi. Today I'm reviewing Crazy Taxi Gazillionaire, the Crazy Taxi mobile game we've all been waiting for. Or is it? Oh Dreamcast, I'll never forget such fond memories. Crazy Taxi Gazillionaire is available on Android and Apple devices. First up, gameplay. A taxi buying, employee hiring, customer driving, free to play, tap tap, money maker. Wow, did I just explain the whole game in one sentence? Yes, unfortunately, yes I did. At least it's crazy taxi, right? You basically tap to pick up fares, earn money, buy more taxis, hire zany looking workers, and upgrade your taxis. As you unlock more cabs, you unlock other parts of the city, and pick up more impatient customers. A nice distraction are the cool stunts you can perform. And well that's the only distraction really. Other than that the game has an unbearable rinse and repeat formula. I'm surprised this game isn't called Tap Tap Taxi. Heck, at least it wouldn't tarnish the crazy taxi name. Earning money is the main premise, and you can do so while the game is not open. Cool, I don't even have to play this game. Altogether I found the gameplay redundant, familiar, and just not exciting. No wonder the taxi industry is going out of business. It's not Uber's fault, it's the mobile game market. Next up, graphics. As if a taxi busted into a TV screen during an Adult Swim cartoon. Yes, the graphics are at least serviceable. Characters are both colorful in both style and personality. Finding out what crazy person showed up next was more rewarding than the actual gameplay. The city maps are very well done, the hustle and bustle of the streets was cool to look at, and the craziness that unfolded was a nice sight. Watching a car get flung into the screen with a massive crack was at least cool. Altogether, the graphics are more enjoyable than the gameplay, like a taxi ride. The destination is always more fun than making awkward conversation with the driver. Finally, free playability. This cab ride is free, and don't expect a tip. While earning tons of money is easy enough, one may be tempted to spend actual dollars. You can get scratcher tickets to unlock characters for upgrading gems or money, also helicopters and blimps fly by that you can break and open for goods. Or watch ads to multiply cash and gain more loot. The game doesn't thrive on in-apps, which is a welcome, yet it doesn't strive away from them either. Altogether you may want to walk a few blocks instead of hailing a cab. Now, I rate my games on a 3 point scale, that's download it, give it a try, and waste of space, with a plus or minus to account for a gray area. Crazy Taxi Gazillionaire speeds, earns, and upgrades its way in as a, dare I say it, waste of space. Hey, I'm walking over here. I am completely disappointed. It's not that I don't like tappers, well, I don't, but here it feels like a waste of the Crazy Taxi license. The gameplay is like driving in circles, the graphics are crazy toony, and the free playability is a fair tip. Having cool graphics and a cool title just isn't enough. If you are really into tapping for the sake of tapping, then you might find some enjoyment. However, I found myself staring at a screen tapping away like a self-driving car. So if you are stuck in a cab during a New York traffic jam and this is the only game on your phone, just save your battery. Or do yourself a favor and drive past that download button. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and share so others can experience my content. Time for me to rest my tapping finger. Uninstalled. <laughs>